Hello and welcome to this video where today we're going to be talking about scan targets. You should have already installed Landsweeper and created some credentials. It's kind of important in the order of creating the credentials versus the scan targets because you need to assign the, the credentials you've created into the scan target. So getting it out of order is not going to hurt anything and not going to cause any problems. It just creates a little extra, a few extra clicks. So in this video, we're going to talk about creating the scan targets and then let's go in and assign some of those credentials we've created to those scan targets. So with that, let's jump into Landsweeper and see what types of scan targets we can create. Okay, so I have gone to app.landsweeper.com. I have logged in with my credentials and here I am at the dashboard. To create a scan target, I'm gonna go into scanning and I can see all of my scan targets that are listed here. And this is a new lab and so I don't have many scan targets. For this particular demo, I wanna create some um, Active Directory scan targets as well as an IP scan target and assign the appropriate credentials. So to start with, let's create an Active Directory. As you can see, I already have some that are in here just for, for demo purposes, but let's create one that's gonna specifically target my uh, DMZ environment inside of my lab. So I'm gonna create a new scan target, and this particular one is gonna be an Active Directory computer path. I want to make sure that we're assigning this to the correct uh, scan server. If your environment has more than one scan server, you will see a list of those listed here. I only have one, so I will make sure that is selected and then I can say add my target. Next here, I need to create the ADSI path. Um, Landsweeper is gonna use the ADSI paths and you can get that out of, active, out of Active Directory. And for mine, this is my particular path. And I want this particular scan to run every day at 1300 hours and then my NetBIOS name. If you have a description, you can actually put that down here if you would like. And this is where we can add our credentials. Since this is a, a, a domain, um, a Windows domain, we can add our Windows credential in here. So I'm gonna select my credential and you can see that it has been added to this list. And by default, the default credentials are also added to this list. And with that, um, we are done adding this uh, scan target in place. I'm gonna hit save and exit. And it asks me, do I want to send this particular scan to the scanning queue? And in my situation, I'm going to say no, but you can choose yes or no, depending on your environment and if you want to scan right now. Next, I want to create an IP range because I know I have got servers inside of an IP range that I've also got some workstations in as well. I also know inside of that range, I've got not just Windows devices, but my Linux devices. And we, can, we saw that on the last video um, looking at my inventory. So let's create an IP range now as well. Click on adding a scan target and select my server that I'm going to be using and an IP range. The IP range I'm using, the first address and the last address. And I'm fine with this scanning at 1330 every day. We can put in a short description here uh, if you want. And it's interesting because in the scan targets, specifically with the IP ranges, we can actually assign and configure whether we wanna ping and save the IP, ping only or don't ping. We can scan everything. We can scan everything but accept the Windows devices or we can scan new Windows devices only. We can configure the timeout, the SIP ports if you have phone systems and SSH ports if you have a unique SSH port that has been assigned in your environment. Or if you don't wanna scan SSH, you can simply remove this checkbox. I'm gonna leave the defaults in place because I want to be able to ping and save everything in my IP range. And I wanna scan everything and discover everything, um, a thorough deep scan of everything in my environment as well. Uh, in this situation, I'm going to scroll down, and if we remember, we have SSH credentials and my admin Windows admin credentials I want to put in place. So I'm going to select both of those, and I also had created beforehand a VMware read-only account that is going to read my VMware environment. I would like to do that as well because I know I've got a VMware environment in there. And lastly, I know inside of that network I have um, SNMP ports that are available for both uh, my switches and my printers in my environment. So I'm gonna select that as well. And as you can see, each of these credentials have been assigned to this particular scan target. I click save and exit. 
And this one I do want to scan right now, so I'm going to select yes. And off that scan goes. So before we jump to the to, to see what it looks like to have a have the credentials be used and, and to be able to compare the credential list versus the credential scans, you can see on this particular page that we can actually trigger off a scan right now. So I'm going to select this uh, scan and we can see that the scan target has been added to the queue. If I don't want to actually scan my entire Active Directory domain, I can dis deselect that and tell it to turn off and configure each of these environments the way you would want. Some reasons why you may not want to actually scan particular IP ranges is maybe you want to do those on a manual basis. Maybe you want to track those individually. It's up to you in your use case scenario. But with that, let's jump over to see the inventory and see how that's coming along by scanning with our credentials. Clicking on inventory, I can come into here and I can see that in my column here of my uh, scan issues, I only have a few issues that are remaining. It can't resolve the IP. Um, there, there's other issues that could be going on outside of a credential problem. Um, but let's look and see what this looks like when I capture a, a, a server that has been scanned with a credential. Let's look at one of my domain controllers that I have here. And you can see immediately there's a lot more fields that have been completed inside of this um, particular asset. You've got the hardware configurations. Um, you've got uh, the, the OU structure. We can even see down here the network activities and so forth. We can come into the configuration tab where there's a lot more data um, that is displayed inside of here where we can see different things about the different uh, hardware assigned to it. Um, we can also see and look at the, the software list and see how many pieces of software are installed in my particular environment or the features that have been applied there as well as the licensing, antivirus, you know, all these different things that can be assigned and installed or configured on a server. LandSuper is going to capture that information. And so with that, I hope you can see that there's a lot of power inside of LandSweeper and the discovery process that can be that can happen with credentials is a far deeper scan that can discover so much more critical information to help you uh, troubleshoot, to manage and maintain your environment and to keep it healthy and secure. Until the next video, happy sweeping.